Welcome everybody to the most iconic building in all of Miami. This reshaped and transformed the Miami skyline as we know it. 1000 Museum by Zaha Hadid. And today I'm super excited to show you Penthouse 55 a $25 million penthouse with 9,200 square feet of living space. Yes, it's a mansion in the sky, overlooking some of the best views of all of Miami. You see almost every area of Miami from here. Five bedrooms, plus a staff quarters, plus a movie theater, six and a half bathrooms, four, four parking spaces for your cars. And of course, you're in the best building in all of Miami. Without further ado, let's go and show you this exquisite, penthouse for $25 million. See you inside. Now, without further ado, let's check out the residence. First things first, when you arrive home every day, you come up here to your private elevator vestibule. You get out of the private elevator into this foyer where you can put down your keys if you desire. And you have a little doorbell here so when guests come, they can ring the doorbell and you can open these really tall double doors. All right, now when you walk in, the first thing that you're greeted to are those insane water views. We're looking over the port and all of South Beach. And honestly, right now, especially like on a perfect day, it's jaw dropping. So your guest, anybody who enters, is immediately greeted with that and with this really nice piece of art that says love. And the reason why they put this here is because they love this view. That makes sense, right? So we have the living spaces down that way, okay? But first we're gonna show you over here, right? They did a nice little desk area with a beautiful built-in over here. So I would work happily from home right here because again, you're overlooking that water view. I mean, floor to ceiling windows, that literally looks like a piece of art. I love all of the, the mill work they have, custom with the lighting around, the attention to details there. Double door entry here into the movie theater. Notice that wallpaper that they have, really, really nice. Built-ins here as well for storage. Look at this massive TV. It is awesome to watch the Super Bowl here, right? The Dolphins didn't make it. I know we always said they would. They're gonna make it next year, but this year we'll watch the 49ers beat Kansas City. I just don't like Kansas City. Anyways, you can watch it from here. You have surround sound speakers throughout the entire room here. It's gonna be booming. Very comfortable, very cozy when you close these doors. Now, over here, this double door that you see, right? This goes to the primary suite, but gonna, we're gonna wait till the end of the video to show you that. So let's walk down this way, all right? Now you're really getting a really nice view of this grand hallway, living space. It's unbelievable. Again, I feel like all of this is like a piece of art, right? So you have a little seating area over here overlooking the massive balcony that has that view, right? And then we come down over here, you have more display for art and mill work and built-ins, really, really nice. You notice here actually is there's higher ceilings than normal in uh, the units that come here in, in 1000 Museum. Uh, the owner had the ceilings raised slightly higher than the rest of the units, right? And also notice the doors are 10 foot doors and that's custom to this unit. This is the living room here, huge living room. I love this living space. To socialize, this is where you're gonna do that. Socialize, get together, no TVs here because that view is a TV of its own. Like you could just sit here and look at there all day. I'd be entertained just looking out. Look at that art. Isn't that art cool? Did I do it? No. Okay. Anyways, you get the point. Really cool. I love the art. All, honestly, throughout the entire unit, the art is spectacular. Here, you're looking out to the water views as well. You'll notice the views span from Key Biscayne all the way to Sunny Isles, which honestly, you don't get to see that anywhere else. So living room here is off of your formal dining right over here. This formal dining seats three, six, a 10 people, it's a big table. You have views of the water over there and over on that end as well. Beautiful piece of art, I love that chandelier. And this built-in that they did here is really nice to divide the spaces like the hallway, right? So now you really have this formal dining separate from the hallway. Now let's walk down over here 
all right? Over here, you have your laundry room and your staff quarters room, all right? The laundry room, you actually have two washers and two dryers and of course a sink, right? And there's a bathroom there for the staff quarters. This is your powder bathroom over here. This powder bath, I absolutely love the wallpaper around. The real birds. They're not real birds, it's a joke. That was me whistling. I know you thought it was a bird, it wasn't. All right, and then over here, this is something that you don't see in any other unit at 1000 Museum. This was custom done by this owner as well. This is a second kitchen. This is the butler's pantry and it's a legit formal butler's pantry because if you have people over and you don't want them to see the behind the scenes of cooking, this is where that's going on. You have a Gaggenau cooktop here, you have a refrigerator, freezer there, you have a dishwasher, a sink, two dishwashers actually. So this is a formal kitchen right off of your real kitchen. Let's go. Yeah, two entrances, yes, yes, right? This is a back way that you can get from the dining room to the kitchen. Don't wanna confuse you either. Over there is that hallway we just were at, and this is your kitchen here, right? So behind the scenes cooking there, in the scenes cooking over here. Look how big this island is. I love where they placed the cooktop, Gaggenau cooktop, because you're looking straight out at the view. You actually, from cooking, you're gonna see the planes landing and the airport, and you're gonna see the sun set. Unbelievable. And on top of that, when you're cooking, you're still in the mix of the conversation. People are in the breakfast nook or in the family area. You can still be part of the conversation. Now, I love the black cabinetry they have throughout. It's very seamless, elegant, and, and it matches the aesthetic of the building. It's a matte, nice, soft touch, right? You have your refrigerator here and your freezer over here. Of course, you have all the appliances that you would have seen in that second kitchen. You have it here, but it's all flush with the cabinetry. Panel ready, which is very, very nice. Love this display of books, right? But now we're in the other entertaining space. So this is, this is the space where you're probably gonna have breakfast in the morning. Maybe you even wanna have dinner here because you wanna see a little bit of the city lights at night. You can choose, you have two different areas. Love those light fixtures, but it's just a big space. I've seen people do pool tables here at 1000 Museum here in this space. You can get creative, right? You have your family room over here. Family room with two wine fridges, massive wine fridges over here as well. So that way you're not whining while you're watching TV. <laughs> My favorite joke of all time. George is like, man, when is he gonna come up with new jokes? I have new jokes. I'm just saving them for another future video. Watch out, all right? So here, family room, and then you have a balcony over here to overlook these Western views. Right now, you're gonna be seeing some of that sunset, and we're overlooking the Miami World Center, the highways, you see the Marlins Park, and if you look south, you actually see views of the bay as well. So these spaces, as you saw, I mean, 9,200 square feet, it's massive, it's a big, big space. Come down over here, this is the hallway that leads you straight to the first living space that we saw, and as well as that uh, secondary kitchen and the dining room. Now over here, this is your long hallway. I call it the, the bowling alley hallway to the secondary suites, which is incredible. Like this right here, this entire wall is perfect for art. We're gonna check out this first bedroom. There's four on this side, but I wanna show you some of them to give you an idea. So this is bedroom number one. You have custom built out closets there. This is the bedroom with the view. Look, you even see the plane coming and landing here in Miami. According to Jorge, Air Force One was here and landed about 30 minutes ago. I don't know if it's true or not. Uh, we're gonna have to just believe Jorge, take his word for it. I guess. So this is bedroom number one. They have access to that second bedroom uh, through this door, but we're gonna take you to the formal way. Of course, every single bedroom in this hallway has its own bathroom, right? The second bedroom has its own bathroom. The third bedroom has its own bathroom. And that last bedroom is actually my favorite. So I wanna show you that one. Right. <coughs> so the rooms are great sizes. Again, custom built out closets. This right here, the last bedroom, would be considered the junior primary suite. So let's come on in. Look how beautifully, like, I love these doors on the closets are really, really nice. This is unique and custom to this unit, right? And then here, this is this corner bedroom. Look at how the bed is placed. That right there, 
The way the column of the exterior of the building comes in, that's a piece of art of its own right there. That's unbelievable. Unbelievable. And you have a little seating area here. And then this bathroom over here is a larger bathroom than the other ones that you saw. You have a double vanity here. You have a little area to do your makeup. And then you have a shower with a private water closet. Now, the moment you've been waiting for, the formal primary suite. Let's go and show you. Welcome to the sweetest primary suite in all of Miami. Come on, come on in. Double door entry. You have a little entryway there, so you have your big mirror, so you look at yourself before you go. Make sure you look good. And then here is the actual bedroom. High ceilings here. You have a king size bed. Beautiful bed, by the way, I love it. Seating area over here, overlooking some of the best views in all of Miami. I mean, look, again, just like in the last bedroom we saw, the way the exterior facade, how it comes in, the columns here, that's a piece of art. I would sit here and read a book or even just respond to messages or emails right here every day. That would be my go-to spot. And then here you have access to the balcony, but we'll take you out there to finish the video. Let's go down here first. So down this way, you have closet number one over here, which we're not showing you, but take my word for it, that it is a big closet with a view as well. Then right here, you don't wanna go to the kitchen at night, all the way over there, 9,200 square feet. You don't wanna do that. You, if you want water at night, right here, midnight, bar over here with a refrigerator, of course, and a sink as well. It's really nice to have that in any primary suite. All right, we come down this hallway over here. Walk-in closet number two is right at the end of the hall over there. Can't show you, but take my word, it's a big, beautiful closet. And then this is the bathroom. Look how big this bathroom is. You have two vanities, floating vanities, beautiful overlooking the views. I love how they did that. And the other unit that we saw, because we did tour another unit here, uh, I believe it was reversed and the vanities were on this side. So this is really cool that you're appreciating the views when you're brushing your teeth in the morning. Shower over here and your tub with the water and city views too. You can have a, you can have a party in that shove. Shove, shove. That was my mind. Shower, tub, shove. This, shove. This, Swimming in the shove. <laughs> That's a new, see that was a joke, I planned that. I did plan that joke, Jorge, he's looking at me like if I didn't, I did. Now, two water closets, so you don't have to share anything. The only thing that you can share, the shove, AKA the tub. Okay, let's go in here. This is actually leading back to the hallway, and this is the closet number two that we mentioned. Uh, we're not gonna show you, but now we're going back to the balcony. I wanna show you how big this balcony is. So we'll come out over here, enjoy the views once again. I mean, I love this unit. I'm curious to know, like, please comment down below what your favorite thing about this unit was. My favorite thing, honestly, it's like an easy answer for me, is the view, honestly. So come over here. Look how big this balcony is. It's a massive balcony. We started the video here, and this is where we end the video, right? Overlooking some of the best views in all of Miami. On this side, you see Key Biscayne over there. The port, the Carnival Cruise Lines. I, I was gonna say the Carnival, but it's actually the cruises. It could be Carnival, Norwegian, whatever. Coming in and out of the port. You have South Beach, South of Fifth over there, and you see all the way to Sunny Isles Beach. And then on the other side, you see everything, so you get Sunrise and sunsets every single day, 54 stories in the sky, 9,200 square feet of living space. Thank you so, so much for watching the tour. And thank you to Sadie Abanza with One Sotheby's International Realty for allowing us to tour her spectacular listing. This is a one of a kind residence and I hope you enjoyed the tour because this is special. If you'd like to see tours like this more often, check out our channel every single week. We're doing this every Sunday. We'll see you in the next tour. Go like, subscribe, and comment.
Thank you so, so much for watching the tour. If you like what you're watching here, we got a few other videos for you to watch. We do them every single Sunday. We got one property tour right here and, and the most recent one right over here. And make sure you go down and subscribe as well and we'll see you in the next video.